Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Sundays usually mean icon upgrade SBCs on FIFA, and today there's one SBC that I hope EA released to bring excitement back to the menus. Today also, we'll focus on how to prepare for that SBC and whatever icon SBC drops, in case it's not that one. And of course, take a look at the new Shapeshifter cards that are going to be coming in packs today. Three more Shapeshifters as a part of the mini release are expected, and we have to talk about about this market guys because prices are dropping like crazy and I want to talk about why there is massive panic selling on this market so all that and more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new first before we dive into a quick content overview from yesterday take a look at EA's Twitter guys it is July welcome to the new month and also welcome to the month where we will finally learn news about EAFC they've already changed the Twitter handle they've changed the bio the website is still the same though learn more this July so we haven't learned more yet but more information is coming and you can see EA has already started that rebranding so that July 1st date yesterday was definitely a turning point and I'm hoping for more information coming soon on content for EAFC see so that's just something i wanted to point out but let's talk about yesterday's content really quickly before we get into the gist of today's video first of all a couple interesting spcs yesterday first of all these hero player picks man i don't know i just think they're behind the curve the weight on these is so dead i know it's a one of five but you know yes you could get like lucio and you could get somebody insane like you still could get a fantasy foot ginola or an aloe wearing i get it but still the weight on these is so bad at least the price is cheap and i just think a a lot of people, uh, exactly 91% of people, according to Footbin, are not a fan of this SBC. I'd, I'd consider myself part of the 91%. I'd rather do an icon upgrade pack or something today than this, but that's just my take there. It is a cheap, fun SBC to craft if you've got fodder and you could get lucky. So I guess that's my thoughts on that one right there. It didn't really make fodder move that much. It's not that expensive, uh, 85 and 86 no extra requirements in there so there's that and then also yesterday we had an icon sbc that was the biggest w of content zola shapeshifters zola which it's just a small shapeshift right from striker center forward down to center attacking mid he can also play left mid left wing five star skills four star weak foot five foot six in height so he's got the very good dribbling stats very low kind of like a ben yetter-esque type of player but i think the price here is what i'm super happy about really really good price like 300,000 coins. You can get the loan for a gold squad if you just want to try them out and friendlies or whatever it is. If this is a card that you just want to do to have some fun, uh, I like it. I like the value here because if you compare it to like Del Piero Trophy Titans or even if you kind of compare it to like the Luis Figo card that we have in this current promo team, He's 300,000 coins. Luis Figo is like, what, five, 600,000 coins to that striker card. They're not a one-to-one -one comparison, but W from EA on the dynamic, the stats, the skill upgrade, everything for Sola. I am a fan of that one right there. Now, also yesterday, we had some store packs. Uh, a big 500k pack, which a lot of people were talking about, is a really, really crazy pack. Of course, it's a 500k pack, guys. It's going to be crazy. 100 gold players, 87 and overall, 10 are above that 87 rating, and then one is going to be 89 plus 61 percent of a premium shapeshifters player i mean most people are going to be packing pepe or gutsa or Nezri from this for sure 22 percent for a shapeshifter and 36 for a shapeshifter icon it's crazy how there's a higher percentage chance that you pack an icon i mean realistically it's going to be who soul campbell uh but a higher percentage chance for that than absolutely packing a uh a shapeshifters player which is kind of crazy so that was there i also saw there was like a 10k pack and honestly, guys, when I saw this 10K pack, I think I literally laughed out loud. Three gold rare players for 10,000 coins, and they're untradeable. Why? Like, there is no point to this pack, man. Like, I know it's 10K, and if people are opening it, it's because it's 10K. But, like, why? Three gold rare players. Like, no. I don't know. I just saw that, and I kind of laughed because I was like... It's not worth the 10K, man. Even Not even worth the 50 FIFA points. But I digress. Let's talk about Sunday content today on this game. And hopefully, a really good icon SBC. Let's start there, right? And I want to go back and look at the icon SBC that I'm hoping for, to see 
today. Will we see the return of the 90 plus Brazil, France, Dutch icon upgrade pack? Because this was the one that was released a couple of weeks ago during the end of the team of the season, and it was a banger. It was 300,000 coins to complete. I think we could only do it once when it was released, and then it didn't come back. And I was really hoping that this SBC would come back last week, but the 90 plus player pick came out once again. Man, I love this pack because not only did I pack Ronaldinho from it, but uh, I just think this gives you the best chance of packing a card like a Ronaldinho, like a team of the year Hullet, like a trophy Titan Zidane. This is your best opportunity to get one of those cards because the player pool is so small compared to normal icon upgrade packs. Now, the thing is, this was only 300,000 coins last time and this 88 rated squad was 171k, I think right now. Zola has an 88 rated squad inside of it, right? How much is that costing? 120,000 coins. So if they drop this icon SBC with the exact same requirements, 85, 86, 88, it would probably end up being a little bit cheaper. I do believe 85s are maybe uh, a bit more expensive than they were when this was released. I mean, 50K for an 85 rated squad is pretty cheap. Uh, but 170K right now, or what it was then, now being 120K for an 88 rated squad, I love that. I would imagine they would keep the requirements the same or be very similar to where they were before if this was to be re-released, which is why if you're thinking about can I invest for this SBC or whatever icon upgrade we do get today, absolutely right it's all about on sundays the icon upgrade packs if it's a good one like that nation specific one we're gonna see some fodder rise if it's the 90 plus player pick again like we've had for the past couple of weeks on this game then it's probably not going to rise that much, right? That was the story last week with Fodder. We invested in 87s and they didn't move until Monday because Monday was when we got the 84 times 10. Now we're hoping for a rise today. I like the 88s the most. I really do because I think they have the biggest kind of like rise potential with an SBC, like an icon pack coming today. 88s are about 15, 16K. I love that price. 16,000 coins is good. I'm going to give you guys a tip on investing in Fodder right now that I think is so key. Buy gold cards especially if you're like nate i think they might you know um release other sbcs or you know you think that 91s might be a place to invest invest in the gold cards specifically on these higher ratings i mean speaking of 91s de bruyne is 25k and van dyke as a 90 is also 25k that's kind of crazy that 91s are cheaper than 90 rated cards doesn't make a whole lot of sense but the tots prices are messing this all up Anyways, if you're going to invest in fodder, invest in the gold cards because number one, that's just what people think. When they think about putting cards into an SBC, you think about putting in the golds, right? You think about putting in these players that, um, you know, you're like, yeah, they're fodder. Yes, they're some of the cheapest cards in the game. I mean, unless you're looking at solutions, who puts a shadow on Holland, by the way? That's just crazy. A lot of things going crazy in this video today. We're all over the place. But... Uh, when you think about putting players into an SBC, most people that play FIFA think about putting in gold cards. So that's why I would say if you're going to do a little bit of investment or a club stock as I'm doing right now, buy the gold cards. Uh, you can still buy some of the other ones too because informs and out-of-pack special cards do have good rises because they're still in demand as 88 rated cards or whatever rating it is. But the gold cards specifically on like a Kevin De Bruyne, uh, these higher rated cards as we have a lot of team of the season cards that are in packs right now getting supplied i mean these gold ones are the way to go because you will see them rise higher since they're not getting supplied and this is what people think of when they think of fodder cards so that's one tip that i would give you right now i like the middle to high tier fodder 87s 88s 89s for specifically an icon pack coming today you could look into 85s 85s at 7k it's not terrible. Ooh, 7.3K. Okay, they're going up a little bit. I know these guys were about 6K last week, but we've seen 85s be 8, 9, 10,000 coins. They could go again to about 9 to 10K this week. It just depends on the rest of the content that we get. So I think I like 85s and 88s the best, but of course, do your due diligence, do a bit of a club stock. And right now is a good time to do a club stock anyway with a lot of SBCs out and fodder usually does rise a little bit during the week so that's kind of my fodder investment tips for this weekend for hopefully today on sunday getting a very good and a very exciting 
um, Brazil, France, or Dutch Icon Pack. If they drop that Icon Pack, I'm going to be doing it like right away because, man, I'm telling you guys, that pack gave me Ronaldinho. And again, that's a pack that I just want to do because of the player pool and the potential that you have to get something sick. So um, that's what I would do there. Club stocks and fodder. Now, what else are we getting today? We're getting a mini release. That's right. We know Sunday mini release days, and it's all about this card today. Kyle Walker. We didn't see him on Friday. We wanted to see him, and he's finally dropping today, according to Foot Sheriff. Um, he's got to be a goalkeeper card, in my opinion. That has to happen. A center back Kyle Walker would be cool, but a goalkeeper Kyle Walker would just hit different for the memes and everything. It would be fantastic. I'm so intrigued to see what EA do with this card today. Do they find a way to make him like a meta goalkeeper? Because six foot in net is not going to cut it, right? We've talked about that. So curious to see what the Kyle Walker looks like today. Balak as a icon shapeshifter is lead for today as well. And then Dembele from Lyon. Interested to see where they put his card and the stats that he get him. they give him. But he's probably going to be pretty cheap and basically fodder. So watch out for that today. Other content that we could see. Maybe a crafting objective. The crafting SBC still has, uh, I think it's got six days left on it. So they might drop something in objectives today. They also could do a player SBC. I'm not entirely sure. Usually with mini releases, uh, it just kind of depends. Like it could be a day where it's just the mini release and an icon pack. And that's it. Or they could throw a couple other things in there. We will just have to see. Of course, we have the regular refreshes, right? Of the tots, uh, the shapeshifters, the daily login. Make sure you get that done. And the tots um, moments or tots uh, upgrade. Wow. Two player pack here. We get a walkout. We are getting a Ter Ooh, Neuer. Even better than Ter Stegen. 90 rated. I just wanted to open these up really quick because these are my daily packs from the daily login. And 83 times 3 was yesterday's. And then today on Sunday, I think we get a... Oh, no. Sorry. 83 double. I think on Sunday today, we get an 83 3 or an 83 4. One of those two. So again, keep building up. Keep doing those. Sick. I get two 83s. Absolutely love that. Now, Let's talk about the market because I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but prices on a lot of this game are absolutely in the mud. And it's not necessarily with the cards that are in packs right now. It's some of these cards that are in the team of the season squads and the cards that we talked about, especially on like yesterday's video and even a little bit earlier than that, when we saw the TOTS upgrade pack uh, dropped, that tradable TOTS pack, we knew it was going to impact the market a lot. And it is. Look at Gabriel Jesus, 715,000 coins for this card right now. Guys, I remember looking at this card on Thursday, Friday, at 1.1 million coins. Look what he has done in the past two days. Yesterday, specifically on Saturday, was a big time sell off day. He went from a million coins now to where he is at 700,000 coins. Musa Diaby is another one that dropped off a bunch. He started at almost, I mean, he was 400K on Friday, 433K. He dropped from 360 on Saturday all the way down to where he is now. 280,000 coins. I actually just picked up a Musiala at 700 flat. He's going back up a little bit because these guys, they're rare, right? I, they're getting supplied, but they're also pretty rare at the same time. So you see the fluctuations. I mean, Diaby was just 270. Now he's 297. So watch these cards for the fluctuations. But the real kind of message right now and what we're seeing is these prices are absolutely in the mud. And I want to talk about it. Why is this market dropping as much as it is? Well, the first thing is we saw the leaks about footies right footies the upcoming promo and we know what happens during footies right we know what happens it means cards are getting re-released back into packs and that means supply and that means prices drop this happens every single summer during the footies promo you see team of the season cards other out of pack specials team of the years even drop a load in price because there is so much new supply and then people panic sell ahead of that before the cards get re-released because they know that they're going to be dropping in price so it's a combination of that selling right now of people fearing the footies is coming next and these cards are going to be put back into packs that's reason number one reason number two is these tots cards like the Bala, I mean, these guys are still in packs. The daily SBC to still pack a TOTS upgrade, uh, to still pack a guaranteed TOTS or TOTS moments card every single day is still dropping these guys. Look at Dybala. He went from 618,000 coins down to 470. He's back up to 520. These guys still have fluctuations because there's a lot of panic selling and supply for hours and hours, and then they do bounce back up. But I'm telling you guys, if you have not sold yet on some of these players that you maybe have still on your team, guys, these prices are still 
going to go lower 100%. I mean, you talk about a guy like this Osaman who was 1.9 million coins on Thursday, 1.5 mil today. You guys are going to think I'm crazy, but this Osaman card is literally going to be like five to 600,000 coins in this next month, right? I know that's a month. It's a long time away from now, but whenever he gets re-released back into packs, that's the type of market crash you're going to see on this game during the summer. You're like, Nate, no way. Yeah wait it's gonna happen okay so awesome in 500k see you soon stuff like that is where you're gonna see the craziest market drop-offs now these tots cards i'm gonna put this out there as well footies batch one and we're gonna talk a lot more about footies later this week so i don't want to dive too much into it right now especially because we don't 100 percent know that it is the next promo we have the leaks um and we have the speculation but it's not confirmed yet so that's something to say there. Not all of these TOTS cards will get released week one. There's going to be a lot of panic beforehand. Some cards that are not in batch one, that are not re-released in packs, will end up going back up this weekend or whenever footy starts because they're actually not in that first batch. So that's some kind of like theory stuff and some high tier kind of, I guess, just market stuff that we're going to have to figure out. Um later on this week but for right now there's a lot of panic i saw frankie young yesterday at 1.5 million coins he's back up now to about 1.6 but i sold mine that i bought on friday it took a little bit of a loss actually because i know that he is going to be falling down further in price as we head throughout this weekend i expect more prices to drop today specifically on the team of the season cards uh because they're going to get supplied once more if we get good content today think about it. if we get like a 90 plus brazil that that, that nation specific icon pack or just a good piece of content SBC for an icon regardless that's going to drop some more prices and again I think it's really the continual panic selling on a lot of those cards because they're fearing they're going to get re-released back into packs now at the same time as those prices are dropping you do have uh, some prices on these cards that are in packs dropping as well and they're still fluctuating guys really good opportunities to trade yesterday Hugo Uris went from like uh, I sold him too early right I know I was not really going to look at the market yesterday which I didn't uh, but I sold Ugo like I bought him right here sold him about right here um, and he went even higher he went to a million coins so uh, really good flips yesterday with him. Uh, I think Schweinsteiger went up. I think Pogba had a couple rarity spikes. Klosterman's really rare. Watch his card on the market. He's really good to trade with. Um, and again, there's still demand for these cards. Shapeshifters Team 2 and Team 1 as well. Because in the, uh, whatever it is, the cup mode. Or no, it's the Shapeshifters... Yeah, it's a Shapeshifters Cup where you have to play with three Shapeshifters cards in your team. That is, that's a demand, right? There's demand there for people to play with these Shapeshifters cards, especially on the cheaper and lower tier. And that's why you see some of those cards like Zaha, Adiemi, Raquelme from last week's team doing very, very well right now on the market and staying at inflated prices because people want to try these cards out and they're using them in the cup. So that part of the market's doing pretty well, but the rest of the market, guys, is really not doing so hot. We'll talk more about footies and cover a lot of that during the week this week later on once we get some more confirmed news. But that's kind of the state of the market right now. EA, drop a banger icon pack today. I literally just bought some fodder. I'm ready to do it. I got to go play some more weekend league games and get this account rolling and get ready for an icon pack today. I'll be streaming today. That's the plan. Check the link down below in the description if you want to come by and check out the stream. Whatever content we get, we'll be reacting to it, maybe making some buys, opening some packs, just having a blast. Summertime on FIFA, good vibes, man. So link is down below in the description. If you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you do have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate Foot Account and catch you guys there. Peace.